Welcome to Shen Ni, Renegade Immortal. Written by author, Er Jen. Chapters 33 through 43. Audio read provided by Board Panda Cafe. Chapter 33, Main Text. Wang Lin had no interest in this foundation establishment pill at all. Seeing the price already so high, he sighed for Wang Hao. It seemed that Wang Hao wouldn't be able to get this foundation establishment pill. While thinking this, he heard Wang Hao shout, 230 Qi gathering pills. This is my limit. Any more, and I'm not trading. The scene quickly became silent. 230 Qi gathering pills was already a very high price. Not many could beat it. However, the foundation establishment pill was simply too rare, and few were willing to give theirs up. The person selling the foundation establishment pill smiled. He arrogantly said, with just 230 chi gathering pills, you want to trade for my foundation establishment pill. If the price is under 2000 chi gathering pills, I'm not trading. Wang Lin quickly listened to his voice. After pondering for a while, he secretly guessed that this person was Wang Chuo, but he was not sure because he was completely hidden by the black fog. Wang Hao shrugged, and didn't say a word. Everyone present was stunned by that person's arrogance. The person in charge coughed and said, Okay everyone, since that person doesn't want to trade his foundation establishment pill, let us move on and continue the exchange. Before long, another person came out and presented their goods. Soon, it was Wang Lin's turn. He stepped forward, took out a small bottle, and said, a mysterious liquid that could match one drop to one chi gathering pill. There are about 100 drops in here. I only want the chance for the fourth layer or later. After he finished talking, he opened the bottle. Everyone could sense the spiritual energy within it. Many people became mesmerized. Although chi gathering pills were filled with spiritual energy, it was still a finished product. However, this liquid had many other uses, like refining more pills. Even when refining treasures, like a flying sword, it would help increase its spiritual power. Someone immediately said, I'll trade the chant for the fourth layer with you. Wang Lin raised his brow and said, only the fourth layer. Another person shouted, how about the chance for the fourth, fifth, and sixth layers to trade for that mysterious liquid? Wang Lin pondered a little. He shook his head and said, I want the chance for the fourth through fifteenth layer. Brother, aren't you making this too difficult for us? Even the second elder apprentice brother Ken Jie, who won last year's competition, is only at the sixth layer, and they only have the chant for the seventh, eighth, and ninth layers. From the tenth to fifteenth layer, only a few elder apprentice brothers have them. Wang Lin was stunned. He hesitated for a while. Suddenly, a voice from not far away said, If you have 200 drops of that liquid, I can give you the chant for layers 4 through 9. Everyone looked toward the voice and saw a man wearing purple walking toward the disguised Wang Lin. He was only about 20 years old but had a cold expression. When he arrived, he looked at the surroundings, and everyone was shocked. They respectfully said, Second elder apprentice brother Ken Jie. The purple clothed man didn't pay any attention to them, but said to Wang Lin, Do you have 200 drops? Wang Lin's face hardened, and his pupils shrank. He was getting an extremely dangerous feeling from this person, far exceeding anyone else that he had met in the Heng Yue sect. Even Master Sun Dezu and Brother Jiang couldn't compare to him. Wang Lin respectfully replied, this liquid is something I found by accident. Besides these 100 drops, I have a few dozen left to use for myself. I don't have that much. The purple clothed man pondered a little. He tossed out a piece of jade and said, fine? Give me the rest of the liquid, and these chants are yours. Wang Lin took the piece of jade and scanned it to make sure it contained what he needed. He took out another bottle and placed the two bottles on the ground. He didn't get closer to the purple clothed man. The purple clothed man looked at Wang Lin, then waved his hand. The two bottles flew towards him. 
After scanning them with his divine sense, he said, if you get more of this liquid, come look for me in the back mountains. It doesn't matter if it's foundation establishment pills, flying swords, skill jades, or even the chant for the tenth layer or later. I can get them all. After he finished speaking, he turned around and left. Wang Lin's eyes narrowed, and his gaze became cold. The last thing that purple-clothed man said was simply too vicious. If it was the people in the crowd, they might not have immediately realized, but Wang Lin had always been smart, so he could always see the deeper meaning in things. The words the guy said meant that anyone could take the mysterious liquid to him to trade. That placed Wang Lin in a very dangerous position. Although he couldn't see other people's eyes, he could feel that there were people secretly watching him. But after Wang Lin decided to bring out the spring water, he had already prepared for this possibility, so he didn't panic and calmly checked his surroundings. The crowd quickly continued the exchange until it was over. As people left, there were people who were filled with joy, as well as many filled with disappointment. Wang Lin did not leave with Wang Hao but placed a dozen or so talismans on his legs and rushed out. He disappeared in the blink of an eye. Wang Hao was a smart person and understood why Wang Lin did this. He quickly used a talisman and left the exchange ground. The disciples that revealed some good treasures all did the same and quickly left. The several disciples that had malicious thoughts toward Wang Lin after seeing the mysterious liquid were all taken by surprise. They wanted to chase but only saw a shadow. They cursed a few times and left. Some of the higher cultivation level disciples didn't go and blatantly tried to steal things. This was, after all, an exchange between disciples of the same sect. If killing and stealing really occurred and were found out by the other's master, then there would be dire consequences. As Wang Lin was running, he kept placing more talismans on his legs. The speed the talismans gave stacked, so with a few dozen talismans on his legs, he quickly returned to the sect courtyard. The person he was the most afraid of was the purple-clothed man. He didn't immediately return to the chore house but hid in an empty room. Only when daylight appeared and the disguise disappeared did Wang Lin carefully leave the room. Luckily, along the way back, there was nothing. Chapter 34, Training With the chance all the way up to the ninth layer, Wang Lin could continue his cultivation. He returned to his reclusive lifestyle while heavy tension loomed over the Heng Yue sect. All of the inner sect disciples were preparing for the competition. If they could reach the top, then magic treasures, pills, talismans, spirit stones, and more would be rewarded to them. What made their eyes green with envy was that this time, the sect took out one of its big treasures, the Two Moon Ring, as the reward for first place. This Two Moon Ring belonged to a senior of the sect from 300 years ago. It contained great defensive power. Therefore, all of the inner disciples were secretly preparing their strength. As for the newcomer competition, since there were only a handful of new inner disciples, Everyone predicted that the winner of the newcomer competition would be Wang Chuo. As for the honorary disciples, they became even more hostile toward each other. The competition to become an inner disciple was a chance to turn their lives around. Everyone was secretly preparing for it. This tense atmosphere had nothing to do with Wang Lin at all. In addition to cultivation, he also practiced the attraction technique. The day before the end of the month, he left the chore house and headed straight for the main courtyard. The technique to hide his cultivation level was activated. The spiritual energy in his body quickly disguised itself to the level of the first layer of qi condensation. He found that the people at the chore house were too annoying and kept him from cultivating properly, so he wanted an excuse to go to a quiet place to cultivate. After arriving at the main courtyard, he walked in. A moment later, he stepped in front of Sun Dezu's herb garden and respectfully said, Disciple Wang Lin requests to meet Master. Why are you here? The herb garden's gate didn't open. It seemed Sun Dezu really didn't like this disciple. Wang Lin's expression remained normal. He respectfully said, Disciple's cultivation is too low, and I'm afraid I won't be able to win in the competition and lose Master's face, 
so I would like to refrain from participating. Sun Dezu sneered, Hum, it seems you are still a bit self-aware, you little brat. Look at Elder Su's disciple, Wang Chuo. So young, yet already at the peak of the first layer, and could enter the second layer at any time. Even if you went, it would be useless. The others could kill you with their finger. I even heard you guys are relatives. How could there be such a big difference? Wang Lin didn't care and said, Wang Chuo has been smart since he was young, and he's naturally talented. He's not someone this disciple could compete with. Sun Dezu pondered for a while and asked, did you find any more gourds in the past half year? Wang Lin shook his head, revealing a look of helplessness, and said, this has really been strange. I have been to the mountain multiple times but haven't seen any gourds. Sun Dezu coldly said, do you have anything else to say? If not, then scram. Every time I see you, I get angry. Every time he laid eyes on Wang Lin, he couldn't contain his anger. He wished he could just kill Wang Lin with one hand so the others wouldn't laugh at him. Wang Lin bowed and respectfully said, Master, Disciple is really bored from staying up here in the mountains and would like to leave until after the new year. What do you think? Sun Dezu refused and said, Leave the mountain. You can't. I almost forgot until you mentioned it, but in four years, there is the competition between the other sects. This time, the headmaster already ordered that after the new year, most of the inner disciples would go into intense closed-door training. You should go so you don't ruin my name in the intersect competition. Intense training. Wang Lin was stunned. Every twenty years, there must be a competition between the sects. That has been the rule for hundreds of years. Although Xuan Daozong is friendly with our Heng Yue sect on the surface, we secretly have a lot of disagreements. For the past one hundred years, we have always lost to them, which is very disgraceful. That's why there will be this intense training. You listen to me well. If after four years you haven't made any advancement and make me lose face during the competition, I'll kick you out of the Heng Yue sect no matter what. After saying that, Sun Dezu didn't explain any more. Wang Lin secretly let out a sigh. It seemed that training outside the sect wouldn't be possible. Seeing that Sun Dezu's tone wasn't friendly, he nodded and took his leave. After returning to the chore house, Wang Lin pondered a little. Since he couldn't train outside the sect, let's use this intense training to cultivate properly. The next day, the competition began. The scene was very lively. Wang Lin didn't go. He used this time to cultivate and solidify his foundation in the second layer. In the next few days, Wang Lin found out from the gossip of the honorary disciples that among the inner disciples, Apprentice Brother Jiang got first place, but only because no purple-ranked disciple participated. As for Wang Chuo, he unsurprisingly became the king of the new disciples. He became even more arrogant and no longer viewed disciples his age as people on his level. A week later, in the morning, a bell rang throughout the sect. It rang five times. That meant that all inner disciples must quickly gather outside the main hall. Wang Lin couldn't hear the bell from inside the dream space. It wasn't until the furious Sun Dezu kicked open the chore house's door and woke him. He quickly put away the bead and opened up the door to the secret training room, only to see Sun Dezu's furious face, shouting, Wang Lin, are you deaf? Did you not hear the bell? You bastard. All of the inner disciples participating in the intense training are there, but you. You made me lose face before elder apprentice brother. You. You make me so mad? Wang Lin raised his brow and remained silent. Sun Dezu gave Wang Lin a hard look. He knew that this was not the time to scold his disciple because the headmaster and apprentice brothers were all waiting. Without a word, he grabbed Wang Lin and stepped onto the seven-colored cloud, and flew into the sky. At top speed, they arrived in front of the main hall. Sun Dezu mercilessly threw Wang Lin to the ground. Sun Dezu said, in a low whisper, Wang Lin, follow me in. If you make me lose face again, I'll go against the sect rules and kill you. 
Those last words by Sun Dezu were filled with killing intent. He was already at his wit's end with this disciple. He later decided that he must find a reason to kick this disciple out of the sect. Wang Lin rubbed his shoulder. If he hadn't already reached the second layer of qi condensation, then that fall would have broken his arm. He lowered his head and whispered, Disciple obeys. Sun Dezu snorted. He tidied his clothes and walked into the main hall. Wang Lin took a deep breath and suppressed his anger as he walked into the hall as well. The Heng Yue sect's main hall was the grandest place within the sect. It was a wide hall with dozens of statues of sages of the sect. The entire hall was filled with a sense of awe. After Wang Lin followed Sun Dezu into the hall, dozens of gazes suddenly gathered on him. He had difficulty breathing and quickly lowered his head. Chapter 35, Back Mountain More than forty inner disciples, stood inside the hall. There were disciples of black, white, and red rank, but no purple. All of these disciples had serious expressions. Among them, Wang Lin could see many faces that he knew, like Wang Chuo, the girl named Su, the girl named Zhou, his apprentice brother Jiang, and such. Right in front of them sat two rows of more than ten elders, all with cold expressions. Right in the middle sat a person, about forty years old, wearing a blue gown, with eyes like lightning. He said, Junior brother son, this is your disciple. Sun Dezu quickly put up a smiling face and said, Elder apprentice brother, this is my disciple, Wang Lin. He entered the sect late, so he doesn't know the meaning behind the bell ringing five times. A red-faced man sitting on the right sneered, the disciple is really like his master. He's kind of dumb, just like you were back then. A man on his side laughed. Apprentice brother isn't correct. Junior brother son at least had some talent, so he was much stronger than his disciple. Sun Dezu's face changed between red and white for a while. He gave Wang Lin a hard look. He snorted and ignored Wang Lin and went to sit down. The man in the blue gown frowned. He looked at Wang Lin one more time before forgetting about him and said, as said before, these four years of intense training must provide results. We must win in the competition against Xuan Dao Zong. Starting today, you will be entering the back mountain. Everyone will be provided with their own cultivation place. This time, the sect will provide 10,000 qi gathering pills for you all to use. None of you may leave the mountain during this time. All of the inner disciples replied in unison. The man in the blue gown nodded and continued to say, I hope that in four years, one of you will become a purple-clothed disciple. Purple-clothed disciple means a core disciple and is far more important than inner disciples. Forget it, experience it for yourself. Now, all of you, go to the back mountain, and someone will lead you to the cultivation ground. After he finished speaking, he waved his sleeves, and a white light shot out from them. After circling the hall once, he growled, open. The white light suddenly expanded and soon engulfed all of the inner disciples. Go? Following the growl from the man in the blue gown, the white light sparkled, and disappeared from the main hall. Wang Lin felt a warm sensation in his body. After the blink of an eye, he found himself inside a valley. This place had much more spiritual energy than the other places. Sounds of water could be heard from all sides. He scanned the area and found the other inner disciples chatting with each other. This valley had no plants. It was a cliff with many holes carved into it, like a beehive. Some of the holes were sealed with giant rocks. Suddenly, Wang Lin noticed that someone was watching him. He turned around and saw Wang Chuo smiling at him coldly. At that moment, a youth came out from one of the holes in the cliff. He was wearing purple clothes and coldly looked at everyone. He said, Fellow apprentice brothers and sisters, this is the back mountains of the Heng Yue sect. As for the back mountain, it's not really the back of the Heng Yue sect but a cultivation ground for inner disciples built by several soul transformation stage experts 500 years ago. This place has much thicker spiritual energy than normal. Since you are here, 
you must concentrate on cultivating, or else don't blame us seniors for kicking you out of the back mountain. Wang Lin recognized this purple-clothed youth. He was the person that bought Wang Lin's spiritual energy liquid. It was rumored that he was already at the sixth layer of qi condensation, and that he was very unpredictable. Wang Lin lowered his head. This kind of scheming he understood well because he had put him into a dangerous situation before. I have the chance for the seventh layer and below. If you reach that level but don't have the chant, come to me. Once I check you, I'll give it to you. As for where you will be practicing, any one of these caves that isn't sealed can be chosen. Here are bottles of qi gathering pills. Each bottle contains 50 pills and will be refilled once a year. After he finished speaking, he waved his hand, and fifty white bottles appeared on the ground. Some of the inner disciples stepped forward and took a bottle, then started to look for the entrance to the cultivation area. Wang Lin took a deep breath. Because he took a disguise pill back then, that person didn't know his identity, so he went up and took a bottle. Zhang Huang stood at the side, looking at the inner disciples taking the bottles one by one when he suddenly saw Wang Lin. He had a strange look on his face and said, What's your name? How come you haven't even reached the first layer of qi condensation? Who is your master? Wang Lin stopped and turned around. He respectfully said, Senior brother, my name is Wang Lin. My master is Sun Dezu. My talent is lacking, that's why I haven't reached the first layer yet. Zhang Quang was stunned. He smiled. You are Wang Lin. I heard about you before. Although talent is important, perseverance is also key. Since your talent is lacking, you must work even harder. Wang Lin quickly promised. This cliff is too high for you since you're not even at the first layer. I'll give you a lift. Zhang Quang waved his sleeves. An invisible force appeared under Wang Lin's feet and pushed him until he was in front of a cave. Wang Lin respectfully thanked Zhang Quang. After he turned around and entered the cave, his face quickly darkened. If he hadn't met this apprentice brother before, he would have been thankful, but after seeing his true nature, he would, of course, not take this small favor to heart. The cave wasn't large. There was only a stone bed and a lever on the wall. Wang Lin walked over and pulled the lever. Suddenly, a roaring sound could be heard as a giant rock fell down and completely sealed the cave. After carefully examining the cave again and finding nothing wrong, Wang Lin was very satisfied with the place. When he looked for Sun Dezu, he wanted to look for a place to cultivate outside of the sect. Although he was rejected, the current situation led him to a place that was pretty close to his original plans. The only downside was that there was no source of water inside the cave. Wang Lin's cultivation mainly relied on the spiritual energy liquid. But in his bag of holding, he had collected a lot of snow water, so it should be enough for him to use for a while. He also heard sounds of water inside the valley. As long as he was a bit cautious, water shouldn't be an issue. Chapter 36, Quarrel After thinking about it, he took out the mysterious bead and started his first closed-door training. Time flew by, and in the blink of an eye, two years had passed. During those two years, Wang Lin was either cultivating or practicing his attraction technique, but he didn't feel lonely at all. Even though it had been two years in the real world, in reality, he had been in closed door training for thirteen years. The spiritual energy here was very rich. He was very impressed. Although it couldn't compare to the spiritual energy liquid, Whenever he was waiting in the real world, he found the spiritual energy to be at least twice as dense as it was outside of the back mountains. Starting from the second layer, his cultivation became very slow. After cultivating in the dream space for more than six years, he reached the peak of the second layer. He then started to tackle breaking into the third layer. After countless tries, he finally broke through. But what was causing him confusion and distress was that in the seven years after, even though he had already reached the peak of the third layer, he couldn't enter the fourth layer, no matter how hard he tried. 
it was not that he lacked spiritual energy. He felt a mysterious force stopping him every time he reached the critical point. And the third layer of chi condensation was also weird. It was unlike the first or second layer, where once he reached the peak, he couldn't condense any more spiritual energy. Although Wang Lin felt that he had reached the peak, the third layer didn't seem to have a limit. If he continued to cultivate, his spiritual energy would continue to increase and keep transforming his body. This caused Wang Lin to be very surprised, but no matter how hard he thought about it, he couldn't find an answer. Today, all of the snow water has been used up. He only had one gourd of spiritual energy liquid left. That gourd had been with him for a long time. It was one of the three that Wang Lin buried in the mountains. He used two of them to make the tenth cloud appear on the bead, and considering that he almost died the last time he took a gulp of it, he had been very wary of it and kept it in his bag of holding. After a bit of hesitation, Wang Lin didn't take out that gourd. Based on his calculations, the amount of spiritual energy in that gourd had already reached a terrifying state. He could always use it once he reached a higher level of qi condensation. He stood up and stretched his body. He walked to the lever and pulled. With a roar, the stone door opened. Sunlight poured into the cave and blinded Wang Lin. After he got used to the light, he came out of the cave and took a deep breath. Looking down, there were many people chatting in the valley. It seemed that a lot of these people found cultivation dull and came to socialize. After pondering a little, he activated the technique to hide his cultivation level to the first layer of qi condensation. He waved his sleeves and jumped forward. His body slowly floated down to the ground. In the thirteen years that he had spent in the dream space, he had completely mastered the attraction technique. He didn't even need to say the chant anymore, he only needed to will it to use it. Like now, he was using the attraction technique on his body. Although it could be said that once the attraction technique reached a certain level, it was doable, that was only when one moved slowly. The moment it speeds up, it becomes difficult. But Wang Lin felt so confident now that even if he needed to fly quickly, he wouldn't lose control. Without more than ten years of practicing the attraction technique, this would be impossible. But who had the time to waste on practicing for ten years on this low-level technique? All of the cultivators were racing against time. If they had the time, why not practice some higher-level techniques? In order to not attract attention, Wang Lin slowly landed in the valley. Right as he landed, he could hear the sound of ridicule. The sun really came out from the west side. Even the trash, Wang Lin, has reached the first layer of qi condensation and can finally come down from the cliff without help. Wang Lin turned his head. He indifferently looked at Wang Chiwo. There were also a few people sitting next to him. They were all inner disciples. A 24 to 25 year old white clothed youth laughed. Wang Lin, you shouldn't be here. You should be mixed with those honorary disciples back in the Chao house. At least there you can feel high and mighty, but here, you are the worst of all of us. Wang Lin scanned with his divine sense. Wang Shuo was the same as him, reaching the peak of the third layer, and the white-clothed youth had reached the peak of the fourth layer. He could break through it at any time. Wang Shuo proudly said, Wang Lin, you sure were smart two years ago. You knew you weren't my match, so you just gave up. But let me tell you, Trash will always be trash. You will never match up to me? I was the top newcomer two years ago, what are you? The white-clothed youth beside him laughed. Junior brother, go fetch me some water from the river there. Your senior brother is feeling good, so I might give you some pointers. As he was speaking, he threw a bottle. It landed at Wang Lin's feet. Wang Lin remained silent, and looked at the white-clothed youth. The white-clothed youth said, with a dismissive look, what does this mean? You want to fight? Let me tell you, second apprentice brother already said that inner disciples can't fight with each other. If you don't act properly, don't blame me for teaching you a lesson. That's enough. All of you shut up. A shout came from the cliff. Soon, 
A shadow appeared like lightning, revealing apprentice brother Jiang's shadow. He frowned and looked at everyone and growled, Wang Chuo, Sun Hao, the two of you aren't cultivating but are here bullying a junior who is only at the first layer of qi condensation. Is this really that interesting? The two's expressions quickly changed. They quickly shot Wang Lin ugly looks and lightly snorted. Afterward, they didn't say any more. They clearly feared Marshal Brother Jiang. Apprentice Brother Jiang's gaze turned to Wang Lin and equally harshly said, Wang Lin, you really shouldn't have come, but since you're here, you should properly cultivate. In the world of cultivation, power is everything. Wang Lin nodded. He hesitated a bit and asked, Apprentice Brother Jiang, I have a question. After reaching the peak of the first layer of qi condensation, why, no matter what I do, can't I break into the second layer? Wang Chuo snorted and said, with your talent, don't even think about reaching the second layer in your lifetime. Chapter 37, 4 Years Apprentice Brother Jiang gave Wang Chuo a cold look and said, the key to breaking through really does have a lot to do with your talent. Some people only need a few attempts to succeed, while others need hundreds or thousands of years or never even a breakthrough in their life. Wang Lin revealed a melancholy expression and suddenly asked, Apprentice Brother Jiang, is breaking through every layer this difficult? Is breaking from the second to third and third to fourth as hard? Apprentice Brother Jiang nodded, yes. The later the stage, the harder it is, especially the third to fourth and fifth to sixth layer. Apprentice Brother Jiang's answer also attracted a few other disciples. A female disciple suddenly asked, Apprentice Brother, what is so difficult about going from the third to fourth layer? I'm currently in the third layer. Wang Lin knew the person that talked. It was the girl named Zhou that Wang Zhou was pursuing. Apprentice Brother Jiang pondered a while and said, Fine. Just today, I'll tell you guys about the two bottlenecks you will face below the sixth layer of qi condensation. The first bottleneck is from the third to fourth layer. For some people, it's very easy, but for others, it's something they might never get past in their entire life. The key has nothing to do with talent but with one's ability to understand the meaning behind the phrase, the road is ruthless. He gave everyone a thoughtful look and continued, immortals need to cut away their mortal ties. If you can do it, then the third to fourth layer is easy, if not, then it becomes hard. As for the bottleneck at the fifth to sixth layer, that is a change in the quality of spiritual energy in your body. Spiritual energy slowly changes your body, and at that point, it starts making deeper changes. This requires a large amount of spiritual energy, so it becomes a bottleneck that blocks a lot of people. After Wang Lin finished listening, he was stunned and silently pondered. The other inner disciples all had different expressions and continued to ask questions. It wasn't until it became dark that everyone dispersed. Wang Lin wandered into the valley, following the sound of water, frowning. Eventually, a lake appeared before him. A faint scent of spiritual energy, was emitted from the water. Wang Lin went and drank some of the water. Although it couldn't match the spiritual energy liquid, it still contained enough to help increase his spiritual energy. So he took out gourds and filled them with water, one by one. After a long time, he finally filled all of the gourds and turned around. His pupils immediately shrank as he saw second apprentice brother standing a distance away, behind him, like a ghost. When he was filling the water, he was constantly scanning the area with his divine sense but didn't find anything. However, it seemed that apprentice brother Jiang had been there for a long time. Wang Lin's heart sank. Jiang Kuang's eyes lit up and said, Brother Wang, the river does contain a lot of spiritual energy and is good for your cultivation, but I see you have a lot of gourds prepared already. Did you already know you would need them before you came here? Wang Lin put away his things without any change in his expression and said, Master had previously informed me that the river would help my cultivation, so disciple has prepared a lot. Jiang Kuang stared at Wang Lin for a while and said, it's normal for Sun Dezu to know this. You should go back and practice. To be able to reach the first layer in only two short years, it seems junior brother is really determined. That's good. 
I hope that when I see you again, you will be at the second layer. Wang Lin clasped his hands and left. Only after he returned to his cave did he finally relax a bit. His clothes were soaked in sweat. Good thing he trained himself to constantly use the technique to hide his cultivation level, otherwise, if Zhang Quang knew that he had already reached the third layer, he would definitely become suspicious. If Zhang Quang tried to kill him, he wouldn't have the power to fight back. Wang Lin quietly reminded himself, immortals are the same as mortals. There are many different types. In fact, the immortals are much crueler than mortals, so I must not let anyone know I have this mysterious bead. After pulling the lever to seal the cave again, Wang Lin sat down cross-legged and started to cultivate again. The principle of cutting off all mortal desires and ties was to prevent these things from distracting them, from their cultivation, but after entering the Heng Yue sect, Wang Lin found that most of the immortals not only did not cut themselves off from their desires but became even worse. As a result, the term cut off mortal desires was a very vague expression, but according to Brother Zhang, it was the key to going from the third to fourth layer, which seemed to be a contradiction. After being puzzled for a long time and still not finding any clues, Wang Lin knew that he could never cut ties with his family. The lucky part was that the third layer wasn't like the first two layers. Even though he couldn't break through, his spiritual energy still increased. In the end, he gave up trying to break through the fourth layer quickly and just kept building his spiritual energy up. Time quickly passed. One year, two years. Without knowing, two more years had passed. Wang Lin had been in closed door training for four years now. He only left the cave once more to refill water to make spiritual energy water for this cultivation. Four years in the real world resulted in twenty-five years in the dream space. Including the time from before the closed-door training, Wang Lin had been cultivating for twenty-seven or twenty-eight years already. His qi condensation level was still stuck at the third layer, but the amount of spiritual energy in his body was still increasing. It was the last day of the four years of intense training. Outside, an arrogant voice shouted, Fellow apprentice brothers and sisters, the four years are up. Come out quickly. The headmaster is here, preparing to send you all back. All of the caves on the cliff opened up. The inner disciples made their way out from them, one by one. Wang Lin felt, with his divine sense, that these forty-plus people all had great harvests while training here in the past four years. Wang Chiwo had already reached the peak of the fifth layer and was ready to break into the sixth layer. There were many others in the same situation. Everyone's cultivation had increased a lot. The girl named Su was at the third layer, and as for Brother Zhang, he was already at the sixth layer. Wang Lin vaguely felt that his cultivation was different from everyone else's. Just now, when he used his divine sense to scan everyone, it seemed as if no one else noticed. The girl named Zhou had already said that she reached the third layer two years ago, but under Wang Lin's scan, he observed that she was still at the third layer, with no growth at all. Wang Lin had a guess. It seemed others' third layer wasn't like his, without a limit. Chapter 38, Light Specs After analyzing the situation in great detail, he felt that this had something to do with him cultivating in the dream space. He had experienced many of the beads' mysteries in these past four years. When cultivating in the dream space, he could feel that those glowing orbs released a light that got absorbed by his body. As for those glowing orbs, he had analyzed them for a while but still hadn't found their exact use. Wang Lin no longer used the technique to conceal his cultivation level, as four years of cultivation in a place like the Back Mountains was a good enough reason to explain it all. No one else knew that twenty years ago, in dream spacetime, he had already reached the third layer. Also, for the past twenty plus years, he had been constantly practicing his attraction technique, and it had reached a terrifying level. In fact, no one in the country of Zhao would spend twenty years practicing such a basic technique. Suddenly, a white light appeared silently from the sky and covered everyone. The warm feeling came again, but this time, Wang Lin noticed a difference. There were faint flashes of strange symbols in the light. 
The symbols came together to form a whirlpool that quickly pulled everyone in, and they disappeared from the valley. When they reappeared, they were in the main hall. The sect head sat there, still wearing the blue gown. Next to him sat several elders. In that moment, several powerful divine senses scanned them. The sect head smiled. He nodded and said, Four years have passed, and I'm very pleased that all of you have made considerable progress. Very good. Now, all disciples that have reached the fifth layer or higher stay. The rest of you, go and tell your masters of your harvest in these four years. In three days, Xuan Dao Zong will be here. This time, we must win. As for the changes in clothes, it will all be done after the competition with them. The people all replied in unison. All of the disciples below the fifth layer left. Wang Lin looked around and didn't see Sun Dezu. After leaving a hall, Wang Lin made his way to Sun Dezu's herb garden. He sent out his divine sense and found that the seal on the gate didn't stop him at all, so his divine sense went into the garden, and he found Sun Dezu there, cultivating. Sun Dezu didn't notice his divine sense at all. This seal that terrified him before now seemed to be filled with flaws. He now felt that if he wanted to break this seal, he could easily do so. Wang Lin withdrew his divine sense and respectfully called out, Disciple Wang Lin is here to greet Master. After Sun Dezu heard this, he hesitated for a while. After thinking for a long time, he somewhat remembered that he had accepted a disciple called Wang Lin four years ago. Then, he sent Wang Lin to the intense training. He was not sure if that trash had made any improvements. Due to his curiosity, he opened the gate to the garden and arrogantly said, Come in then. Wang Lin walked in. Sun Dezu examined Wang Lin and exclaimed, You managed to get to the third layer. Wang Lin nodded and respectfully said, Disciple has trained hard in these four years and barely made it into the third layer. Sun Dezu blinked a few times. He seemed to remember why he had accepted Wang Lin as his disciple. He remembered that he was going to wait until this disciple reached the first layer and use the soul search technique, but after hesitating for a while, he decided to give up. After all, it had been so many years, and the backlash of lowering his own cultivation didn't seem to be worth it. Sun Dezu glanced at Wang Lin and said, Fine? Since you've reached the third layer now, you are a true disciple of Sun Dezu, and since you are my only disciple, starting today, you can come back and live here again. In a few days, there will be the competition with Xuan Dao Zong. You can follow me there and broaden your horizons. Also, since you reached the third layer, did you practice the attraction technique? Wang Lin's expression remained normal as he replied, Disciple has practiced the attraction technique but still feels very unfamiliar with it. Sun Dezu nodded and said, That's natural. To be frank, these basic techniques are all about practice. The more you practice, the better you will be at it. Your master practiced it for a whole year, and that could be considered the longest time in the sect. Look. As he was speaking, he moved his hand, and a small, colorful sword appeared. Then, it circled around the room before landing back in Sun Dezu's hand. After practicing the attraction technique and reaching the second layer, one can start practicing the drive technique. The drive technique is what moves this sword. Of course, to reach this level, you must have at least reached the fourth layer, but with the competition so close, we can't have you making a joke out of the sect. Your cultivation is low, so the chance of you going up is low, but you can't lose the sect any face. A flying sword can still be controlled with the attraction technique. I'll give you a token, so go to the sword pavilion and pick out a good flying sword to wear and to show off at the competition. Sun Dezu finished talking and tossed a token toward Wang Lin. Wang Lin's expression became strange. He opened his mouth for a long time but didn't know what to say. Seeing Wang Lin's expression becoming strange, Sun Dezu snorted and said, Don't think of this as a small matter. You must look good because if you make me lose face, I won't forgive you. Back then, your master did the same thing. Just holding a flying sword earned my master a lot of face. Wang Lin wryly smiled and said, 
Disciple will definitely look fierce, Master. Don't worry. Chapter 39, Wealth Sun Dezu nodded his head in satisfaction and said, You can keep this token. It will allow you to freely enter and exit this garden. But remember, you aren't allowed to touch any of the herbs without my permission. Wang Lin nodded. He knew that Sun Dezu didn't like him, but seeing how he had already reached the third layer, Sun Dezu at least recognized him as a disciple. Wang Lin respectfully left. Not long after, he arrived at the Sword Pavilion in the main courtyard. He was here many years ago, and being here again made him remember the scene from back then. Outside the Sword Pavilion sat a disciple in white. He looked like he was thirty years old and kind of chubby. Wang Lin didn't recognize him, so it seemed he didn't participate in the intense training. He looked at Wang Lin and exclaimed, Junior brother, you are only at the third layer. What are you doing here? This is a place only disciples of the fourth layer or higher can enter. Wang Lin remained silent. He took out the token Sun Dezu gave him and tossed it over. After the fat disciple received the token, his face became strange, as if he was trying to hold back a smile. However, he couldn't hold it back any longer and burst out laughing. It seems to be Elder Brother Sun's tradition. I had forgotten about this. Elder Brother Sun has this tradition that when everyone competes with another sect, he likes to show off a flying sword. Wang Lin became embarrassed, especially thinking about Sun Dezu's serious expression before. He warily smiled. The fat man laughed for a long time. He forced down his laughter and waved his hand, saying, Junior brother, you can go. I recommend the sword three from the right. That flying sword is really amazing. The first time I saw it, I thought it was the most amazing flying sword in the country of Zhao. Wang Lin quickly thanked the man and made his way toward the pavilion. When he was five meters away, he suddenly detected waves of energy from the pavilion, seemingly trying to prevent him from entering. Seeing this, the fat man realized that he forgot to turn off the formation set around the pavilion. He wanted to tell Wang Lin, but right when he was about to speak, he suddenly stopped as if there was a fishbone stuck in his throat. His eyes grew large, and he stared at Wang Lin with a look of disbelief. Wang Lin felt the resistance and remembered the shame from back then. He snorted and kept moving forward, five meters, four meters, three meters, two meters, one meter. Despite the resistance increasing, it wasn't able to stop Wang Lin at all, and he easily stepped into the sword pavilion. After entering the room, he used his divine sense and found that the room he was currently in was very strange. It seemed his divine sense was restricted to only three meters in range. The fat man immediately jumped up with a shocked expression on his face. He was the disciple in charge of managing the sword pavilion, so he knew the power of the formations very well. Not to mention inner disciples, but a lot of the elders couldn't force their way in like Wang Lin just had. Only when recruiting disciples was the power of the formation weakened hundreds of folds, so that the sword's energy could be released, to see if there were any matches. Is the formation broken? The fat man couldn't believe what had just happened. He thought the formation had to be broken, so he moved up to test it himself. Just when he entered the five meter range, he felt a very strong pressure that made him feel like he was a leaf in the turbulent sea. He was mercilessly thrown out. His body flew back and made an arc as he fell. He coughed out a few mouthfuls of blood after he landed on the ground. After a long time, he recovered his senses. His face was filled with fear. He exclaimed, Not. Not broken. Wang Lin easily entered the room. Once inside, he saw that there were many flying swords of various lengths, all releasing powerful sword intent. Wang Lin scanned each sword one by one without stopping until he finally saw the sword that the fat man said was the most amazing looking sword in the country of Zhao. After seeing it, Wang Lin was speechless. It could really be considered the most amazing looking flying sword. It shouldn't really even have been regarded as a flying sword but more like a rectangular sign. It was two palms wide, one meter long, and the whole body shined with a golden light. 
The reason for the golden light was not because this was some sword with a magical spell, the golden light was there because the entire sword was coated in gold. Also, don't think that the coat of gold was there just to hide some amazing sword under, it was just regular iron. On the handle were two large diamonds, and even the sword tassel was made from thin strips of gold. In short, taking this sword out to show people would really amaze them and maybe even make them think it was an amazing sword. Wang Lin stroked his chin. He is really optimistic about the sword. If anything, at least if he ever needed money in the future, he could sell it for a lot of money. On the flying sword, there was a sign that read, this sword's name is Wealth. It was made by a sect elder 500 years ago, and is said to have unimaginable power. But in reality, this sword has been broken and rebuilt many times. However, because the elder had done much for the sect, his last will was to leave the sword here in hopes that it would find someone fitting in the future. Whoever chooses this sword must treat it well. If it breaks, it must be immediately repaired. If it's sold, then the person who sold it will be kicked from the sect. Wang Lin couldn't hold in his laughter. He picked up the sword and said, I'll choose you then, but I, Wang Lin, am a poor man. So if you break, don't expect me to put you back together. After putting the flying sword away in his bag of holding, he left the room. The fat man outside looked nervous. Instead of the mocking laughter from before, he respectfully sent Wang Lin off. Since Wang Lin's divine sense was restricted inside the pavilion, he didn't see what happened to the fat man, so he was surprised at why the fat man suddenly became so respectful. After returning to Sun Dezu's garden, Wang Lin took out the sword. Sun Dezu was stunned, and after mumbling to himself for a while, he glanced thoughtfully at Wang Lin and said, When I saw this sword before, I didn't have the guts to take it, but it seems you have guts. Good. Take this sword with you to the competition in three days and show it off to the elders. Three days later, the bell in the Heng Yue sect rang nine times. It echoed for a very long time through the mountain. The headmaster, all the elders, and many disciples all stood outside the main hall. They saw a black dot appear in the sky. The black dot got closer and closer to them until they saw it was a thousand-foot-long centipede. The centipede was completely black. It seemed to step on black clouds as it thunderously roared towards them. All of the Heng Yue sect's inner disciples took a deep breath, their eyes filled with fear. Some of the female disciples' faces became pale, and their legs became weak. What's the big deal about it? Although this thousand-foot-long centipede looks scary, if everyone here struck it with a sword, it would still die. The red-faced man next to the sect head shouted. His voice was very loud. It seemed he wanted the people on the centipede to hear. Chapter 40, Guests Another elder stared at the centipede and whispered, Humph, the Xuendao sect is always like this, trying to bully my Heng Yue sect because we don't have a spirit beast. If there is a chance, we must kill that spirit beast, then we'll see how they will show off. The sect's head coldly snorted. A purple sword suddenly appeared before him. The sword flew into the sky and became a giant purple dragon. It coiled above the Heng Yue sect and roared at the centipede. The thousand-foot centipede suddenly stopped and didn't dare to continue. Suddenly, a loud laugh could be heard from the top of the centipede. Huang Long, it is rumored that this purple sword contains the soul of a dragon. It seems that the rumor is not fake. Friend, I'm here now, and if we win again, the Heng Yue sect must keep their promise and return the 137 treasures that were stolen from us, as well as give us 200 flying swords as compensation. The sect head's expression remained normal. There was no trace of anger. He indifferently said, Friend Ouyang, if the Xuendao sect wins this time, the Heng Yue sect will naturally do as promised, but if you guys lose, then you must hold back on your technique to control spirit beasts. While he was speaking, the purple dragon slowly dissipated and turned back into a purple sword. It returned to sect head Huang Long's hand. The thousand-foot centipede started to move forward again. It circled above the Heng Yue sect as it slowly descended. 
The inner disciples all pulled back to make room. All of the elders had frowns on their faces from seeing the disciples recoiling. After the centipede landed, it remained motionless. Dozens of people jumped down from the centipede's back. Besides three elders, everyone else was very young. The Xuandao sect had both male and female disciples. It seemed like they were making fun of the Heng Yue sect because they knew that the Heng Yue sect didn't have many purple-clothed disciples, so every one of them was wearing purple. Another thing that surprised the Heng Yue sect disciples was that every single Xuan Dao sect disciple was good-looking. The males were very handsome, and the females were all very beautiful. Especially the male and female disciples at the front. The male was extraordinarily handsome and full of masculinity. His long sleeves and hair fluttered in the wind, with a flying sword on his back that made him look even cooler. His appearance completely enchanted a few of the female inner disciples. The female disciple wore full purple with hair long like a waterfall, bright red lips, and beautiful eyes that could move anyone's heart. Even Wang Lin couldn't stop his heart from beating faster when he saw her. He became very surprised as he carefully looked at her and quickly became more cautious. Seeing all the disciples with memorized looks on their faces, one of the elders finally couldn't stand it anymore and shouted, When did the Xuan Dao sect start practicing charm arts? It is simply too despicable. This shout quickly awakened many of the inner disciples. All of them had a surprised expression. One of the three elders of the Xuan Dao sect laughed and said, this must be Elder Dao Su. My name is Chin Gu Lei. You should take a closer look. My two disciples here didn't practice any charm arts but were born with water spirit roots. I can see that among all of the Heng Yue sect disciples, none of them are of such a pure spirit root. All of them are a mixture of all five elements. No wonder you can't tell the difference. All of the Heng Yue sect's elders' expressions became unsettled. After a long time, sect head Huang Long's expression remained the same as he changed the subject and said, Friends of the Xuandao sect, first, rest at our sect. The competition will begin in three days. Elder Ouyang nodded. Smiling, he said, Very good, our Xuandao sect has had these competitions with the Heng Yue sect for many years, but although there are some disputes, there is no need to hurt our relationship. Among the many elders of the Heng Yue sect, a very old man walked out. His face was full of wrinkles, and he looked somewhat like he had no energy. He lightly chuckled and said to Ouyang, Good friend, Ouyang. It's been twenty years, do you still remember me? Elder Ouyang laughed out loud and said, I've already seen you, old friend Song Dao Yu. This time, you must let me have some more of your homemade wine. I didn't have enough because you were too stingy last time. You only brought out one jar. Elder Song smiled. It's not that I'm stingy, it's that when you start drinking wine, it's too scary. No matter how many jars I bring out, it's never enough. As the two started talking, the other two elders of the Xuan Dao sect found familiar faces and started chatting as if the unfriendly words before were never said. As they talked about things that were happening in the cultivation world of the country of Zhao, the eyes of the disciples of both sects were really opened. Things like, the Wu Feng sect had a male disciple who seduced the Misty sect's head female disciple and made her pregnant. The Mist sect's head went to the Wu Feng sect for justice but came back with a baby. Or like the Heaven sect, where some disciples abandoned the sect and joined the He Huan sect. After some of them started to spread the benefits of joining the He Huan sect, more and more disciples abandoned the Heaven Sect. This made the Heaven Sect's head so mad that he sent out a kill order for any disciple that abandoned the sect. Or about some genius baby being born, and finally about the Misty Sect's core formation expert's birthday being in a few months, so all the friendly sects would send people to attend and such. Wang Lin listened for a long time and started to have a very blurred impression of the cultivation world in the country of Zhao. At one point, he suddenly felt someone looking at him. He turned his head and saw that female disciple from the Xuan Dao sect looking at him with a faint smile on her face. Wang Lin nodded his head and secretly put up his guard. 
He didn't believe that he had the charm to attract someone's attention among all the disciples present. Lu Mei was the leader of the inner disciples at the Xuandao sect and was very confident in her innate charm ability. Within the Xuandao sect, almost no one her age could resist. But that ordinary looking youth was the first to recover, which surprised her. She couldn't help but take a few more looks, but no matter how she looked at Wang Lin, he was only at the third layer and was nothing out of the ordinary. As the elders talked, the disciples of the two sects also started to chat with each other to prepare for the competition that was to come. All of the Xuan Dao sect's disciples seemed to have a mysterious fog that hid their cultivation level. Wang Lin was also surprised that he became interested in the Xuan Dao sect. This technique seemed similar to the disguise pill but on a higher level. The Heng Yue sect disciples seemed to focus all their attention on that male and female, all of them with their own ideas, but Wang Lin noticed a strange phenomenon. All of the disciples of the Xuandao sect, from the looks in their eyes, seemed to show signs of respect to a middle-aged man in the back. After giving that person a thoughtful look, Wang Lin withdrew his gaze, lowered his head, and remained silent. Chapter 41, Centipede the Xuandao sect's disciples also secretly evaluated the Heng Yue sect disciples, especially the ones who were at the sixth layer and higher. Wang Chuo's looks and his peak fifth layer cultivation also made the Xuandao sect disciples keep him in mind. As for Wang Lin, he was only at the third layer, so they completely ignored him. Everyone aside from Lu Mei that is. She paid a little attention to him. As the two sect's elders talked to each other, they also secretly looked at each other's disciples. The Xuandao sect's three elders became more and more happy, as they saw the Heng Yue sect's disciples. They thought that if these were all the disciples the Heng Yue sect had, they would win this exchange for sure. But they had secretly been in conflict with the Heng Yue sect for many years and knew that they were very cunning. They would save the killing blow until the most crucial moment. Even though there were quite a few disciples at the sixth layer present, all of them were new faces, and all the ones that participated last time weren't in sight. Those were the people who they needed to focus on during this exchange. The sect head, Huang Long, scanned the Xuan Dao sect's disciples. His gaze paused on the male and female with the pure water spirit roots. He secretly sighed in his heart. In the past five hundred years, the Heng Yue sect had really fallen without a successor. Even the Xuandao sect, which was an unknown small sect only 500 years ago, could constantly beat the Heng Yue sect. He originally thought that they would win this time, but two single element spirit root disciples had appeared this time, which made him very worried. Do we really need the purple clothed disciples to come out? They are currently in training. Suddenly, Huang Long's gaze fell on the disciple all the way in the back, and he finally made a decision. Fine. Since they sent this disciple, then it's time for our core disciples to come out as well. Thinking about this, he laughed and said, Friend Ouyang, the disciples must be tired from the trip. Let them go rest first. Us few old guys should have a good time. Come into the main hall. He waved his hand to welcome them into the main hall with a smile on his face. Xuan Dao sect's three elders nodded and followed him into the main hall. The Heng Yue sect's elders followed in behind them. Elder Su was the last one. He turned to the disciples and said, Wang Chuo, you're in charge of taking care of the Xuan Dao sect's disciples. If there are any issues, teacher won't forgive you. Wang Chuo seemed to be prepared for this. He respectfully said, teacher doesn't have to worry. I will properly take care of Xuan Dao sect's fellow apprentice brothers and sisters. Elder Su smiled at the Xuan Dao sect's disciples and said, disciples of the Xuan Dao sect, if you have any needs, you can ask Wang Chuo. This old man is old, so I won't bother you young ones. You all should get to know each other more. The future of the cultivation world belongs to you all. After he finished speaking, he walked into the main hall with a faint smile. The moment the elders left, the disciples immediately became more relaxed. 
Some of the Heng Yue sect's female disciples went up to the male with the water spirit root and started to make small talk. Their eyes were filled with admiration. Beside the Heng Yue sect's sixth layer disciples appeared some Xuan Dao sect's disciples. They made small talk about their experiences. As for the other disciples, they all started to talk with each other. There were also many disciples who looked up to the unmoving centipede in amazement. Wang Lin looked at the scene and didn't want to join in. He went off to the side and sat down on some steps. Looking at the blue sky, and white clouds while bathing in the sunlight felt very comfortable. There were many other disciples like Wang Lin that didn't like the crowds, like the female named Zhou. She saw Wang Lin and casually walked over. Junior brother Wang, I want to congratulate you on reaching the third layer. There aren't many inner disciples as hard-working as you. The female named Zhou said with a smile. She sat down on the steps without caring if it was dirty or not. Wang Lin chuckled. He shook his head and said, it's not like what you said at all. I see that most of these people are painstakingly cultivating as well. The female named Zhou looked at the clouds. She sighed and said, Junior brother Wang, don't sell yourself short. During the four years of intense training, almost all the inner disciples came out very often, but I rarely saw you. Cultivation is a very boring thing to do. Junior brother Wang, to be honest, I admire you. To reach the third layer in four years takes a lot of perseverance. Wang Lin rubbed his nose and smiled, Senior sister Joe, didn't you also reach the third layer? The female named Joe sighed and gloomily said, I reached the third layer three years ago, but now, all the disciples who were weaker than me back then have surpassed me. Maybe it's because I can't cut off my mortal ties. Wang Lin pondered for a while and said, the road is ruthless. If senior sister Joe wants to advance, you must understand this phrase. The female named Jo looked at Wang Lin with her beautiful eyes. Revealing her beautiful teeth, she said, Junior brother Wang, I can see that you have already reached the peak of the third layer and can break through at any time. I think that you will soon surpass me too. Wang Lin stared at the breathtaking beauty. He wryly smiled and said, I won't be able to break through any time soon. These mortal ties aren't something I can cut easily. The female named Jo was stunned. She hesitated and asked, Junior brother Wang, it's rude of me to ask, but what mortal ties can you not cut? Wang Lin shook his head and didn't answer. His mind was filled with thoughts about his parents. The female named Jo saw that Wang Lin was reluctant to answer. She sighed and said, I can't cut the ties with my family. Cultivation is too ruthless. Maybe I'm not fit for this. Wang Lin was about to speak, but he suddenly turned his head and saw Wang Chuo staring at him and the female named Zhou with an evil gaze. At that moment, they heard Wang Chuo's voice. Brothers and sisters of the Xuandao sect, you all said this centipede likes to eat live animals. Let us, the Heng Yue sect, take care of it for you during your stay. I have a junior brother, you see. Cultivation is just a waste of time for him, so making him catch live animals to feed this centipede is a much more fitting job for him. The male disciple with the water spirit root hesitated and said, Brother Wang Chuo, this is a bit improper. The centipede's nature is wild. If a stranger were to feed it, that person might be in danger. Wang Chuo said, with a gentle expression, Don't worry, Brother Lu. How could a cultivator back down because of danger? You are our guests. These chores should be left to us, the Heng Yue sect. Chapter 42, Centipede's Poison Some of Wang Chuo's companions agreed, and one of them said, this is true. Friends of the Xuan Dao sect, leave it to us. All of the Xuan Dao sect's disciples hesitated. The disciple named Lu wanted to use the elders as an excuse, but at that moment, the middle-aged man in the back lightly coughed. The disciple named Lu's face twitched. He nodded and said, if that's the case, then we will trouble the Heng Yue sect. Wang Chuo smiled. He turned toward Wang Lin and loudly yelled, Junior brother Wang Lin, 
The job of feeding the centipede will be left to you. You need to be careful. Hearing Wang Chuo's words, all of the Xuandao sect's disciples turned their heads to look at Wang Lin. They all had strange expressions on their faces. How could they still not understand the meaning behind it all? This Wang Lin must have offended Wang Chuo. Among the Heng Yue sect disciples, one person laughed and said, I was wondering who brother Wang Chuo was talking about. As I expected, it's junior brother Wang Lin. Someone else continued, this job is really fitting for him. With his lack of talent, it's really a waste of time for him to cultivate. There is no chance for him to compete in the exchange. There really is no one else more fitting for these chores than him. Junior brother Wang Lin, you must do your job properly and not lose the Heng Yue sect any face. Hearing the laughter, the Xuandao sect's disciples understood that not only had Wang Lin offended Wang Chuo, but because of his lack of talent, he had also become the target of mockery among the other disciples. This kind of thing happened in every sect, so it was not a big deal. As a result, all of the Xuandao sect's disciples categorized Wang Lin as trash. The female named Zhou, that was sitting next to Wang Lin, frowned? She shot Wang Chuo a disgusted look. She whispered to Wang Lin, Junior brother Wang Lin if I hadn't come, he wouldn't have targeted you. I. Wang Lin shook his head. Wang Chuo hadn't just been targeting him for a few days. Ever since the first day they met and onwards, Wang Chuo had always made an effort to ridicule him. The rest of the sect looked down on him due to the fact that he got accepted by trying to commit suicide and then became an inner disciple due to elder son. More importantly, he was only at the third layer, making him the weakest among these disciples. Power was everything. Wang Lin eyed the thousand-foot centipede that was lying on the ground. He didn't care and pretended like he hadn't heard any of it. Not long after, Wang Chuo assigned a few disciples to lead the Xuandao sect's disciples to their rooms to rest. The Xuandao sect's disciple with the water spirit root, named Lu, glanced at Wang Lin before he left and gently said, you must be brother Wang Lin. Our Xuan Dao sect centipede is wild in nature. When you feed it, you mustn't get too close, or you will be injured. Wang Chuo looked at Wang Lin with a cold smile. He didn't bother him anymore after that. Soon, everyone dispersed from outside the main hall. The female, named Zhou frowned. She talked with Wang Lin for a bit more, then left. Looking at the deserted area, Wang Lin stood up and walked toward the centipede. He stopped ten feet away from it and carefully examined the spirit beast. Upon a closer look, this thousand-foot centipede was an enormous beast. The body was formed by many sections, and between each section were rings with thorns pointing out like countless swords. There were also faint black spots all over its body, and its head had two massive pincers sticking out. In addition, what attracted the most attention were the two long red whiskers that moved without wind, as if they were two very long snakes. As if it knew Wang Lin was looking at him, it opened and closed its eyes, giving Wang Lin a cold glance. Wang Lin immediately felt a cold sensation sweep by. Wang Lin's body felt cold, but the movement of spiritual power in his body immediately dispersed the coldness. The thousand-foot centipede revealed a surprised expression. It gave Wang Lin a deep and thoughtful look, then closed its eyes and ignored Wang Lin. Wang Lin revealed an interested expression. No wonder this was a spirit beast, it even had human-like expressions. While musing this, he left at a brisk pace for the mountains. Using his divine sense, he easily captured some small animals and came back. Along the way, Wang Lin saw some of the Xuandao sect's disciples being led by some senior disciples. When they saw Wang Lin with the small animals in his hands, they laughed, which drew the Xuandao sect's disciples' attention. One of the Xuandao sect's female disciples, who looked very pretty, with a face that looked so delicate, it felt as if it could be broken by a drop of water, laughed. Junior brother, all of those small animals you caught won't be enough to feed the thousand-foot centipede. You should go catch a large worm. Those are the centipede's favorite. 
One of the inner sect disciples immediately tried to suck up and said, Junior Sister Ouyang, this dumb kid is like a mute. There is no need to talk to him. You didn't know this, but he isn't qualified to cultivate. He failed all of the entrance tests and then tried to commit suicide, which forced the elders to accept him as an honorary disciple. Wang Lin was familiar with the person who talked. He was the one that ridiculed him back during the intense training period, Sun Hao. Someone from the Xuandao sect quickly asked, Honorary Disciple. But I see him wearing red. He should be the Heng Yue sect's inner disciple. Sun Hao loudly laughed. I'm not done yet. This kid used some lowly method to gain the favor of one of the elders and was quickly raised to an inner disciple. But even so, with his talent, he will only be laughed at for the rest of his life. Wang Lin glanced at them and left. He arrived back near the centipede and threw the small animals next to it. The moment the small beasts saw the centipede, they immediately fell to the ground, trembling in fear. The centipede opened its eyes and didn't even look at the small animals. He spat out a black gas. The moment the black gas touched the small animals, there was a sizzling sound. In the blink of an eye, the small animals turned into a pool of blood. The centipede sucked the blood into its mouth. Wang Lin took a few steps back. His eyes lit up. Centipedes typically contain poison, and these poisons were their greatest weapon. As a child, he read a book that mentioned that the poison of a centipede was related to its size. Simply said, the larger the centipede, the stronger the poison. Chapter 43, Old Friend The centipede before him was 100 feet long. The poison it contained must have reached an unimaginable level. Wang Lin wasn't unfamiliar with centipedes. Many of the children caught centipedes to play with, and many used them to feed their chickens. Sometimes, they would accidentally be bitten by the centipede, but all they needed to do was wash the wound with a lot of water and, at most, lay in bed for a few days, and they would be fine. There was even a time when he collected centipedes for their poison. The doctor at the village said that if the centipede's poison was used properly, it could be used to cure illnesses. In the early days, his father couldn't afford to buy wood for his work, so he went up to the mountains to chop wood and let the cold air enter his body. This caused him to almost lose his life. At that time, the prescription made by the doctor contained centipede poison. Although his father's illness was cured, the illness left its roots in his father's body. Every time it rained, his father would be in a lot of pain. The prescription the doctor gave to help with the pain contained centipede poison, so Wang Lin had caught a lot of centipedes for his father. Until now, Wang Lin still remembered what happened back then. Looking at the hundred-foot centipede, Wang Lin stroked his chin. If the small centipede's poison could help his dad's illness, then the poison from this centipede might just remove the root of the problem once and for all. But the centipede before him was simply too large, and Wang Lin was just too small compared to it. He was afraid that he wouldn't be able to get any poison, and hurt himself in the process. Suddenly, Wang Lin remembered a method for obtaining centipede poison. This method was passed down through the generations. It was to make a pill to feed to the centipede. Once the centipede consumed this pill, it would spit out poison. Thinking about it, he stared at the centipede and walked toward the pill house. The pill house contained the most materials in the sect. He also hadn't seen Wang Hao in four years, so it would be good to check up on him. It was already getting dark when Wang Lin arrived at the pill house and saw Wang Hao carefully exiting from the side door. Wang Hao saw Wang Lin and gestured for him to be silent. He motioned him to go outside. Wang Lin was startled. He sent out his divine sense and found the third elder staring at the pill furnace with a serious expression on his face. After walking away for a while, Wang Hao saw that Wang Lin had silently followed him out. He grabbed Wang Lin and quickly ran. After running for a short distance, he finally let out a breath. Wang Hao was short of breath. He warily looked toward the pill house and quickly asked, with a glint of hope, Wang Lin, 
I heard you went to the intense training four years ago. What layer are you at now? The third layer. What is this? Wang Lin scanned Wang Hao with his divine sense and found that Wang Hao was already at the first layer, but the spiritual energy in his body was very strange. The spiritual energy wasn't flowing properly, it was moving in an odd path. Every time the flow circulated through Wang Hao's body, it would take away a bit of Wang Hao's life essence from his organs and absorb it. In this state, Wang Lin was afraid that it wouldn't be long before Wang Hao ran out of life essence and died. Wang Hao bitterly smiled and said, you saw through it. Wang Lin nodded and said, Wang Hao, tell me what this is about. Wang Hao tightened his fists and said, while grinding his teeth, back when we went to the exchange, I always regretted not being able to get the foundation establishment pill. Later, Master Lu Yunji gave me a foundation establishment pill to repay me for being his helper. I was very surprised at the time. He also gave me a cultivation method and told me that it was better than the one the sect gave. I didn't think too much about it and cultivated with it. Wang Lin took a deep breath and asked, What? Let me see? Wang Hao took out a thread-bound book and threw it to Wang Lin. He continued, But after I practiced it for two years, my body became weaker. Although I can manage to condense spiritual power in my body, I can't use it. Later, I secretly bribed a disciple to look it up for me and found that the cultivation method Lu Yunji gave me is called Fire Furnace Trial. Wang Lin opened the book and looked through it. The more he read, the more shocked he became. What was in the book was completely different from what was inside the three layers of qi condensation. Instead of using the spiritual energy to refine the body, it gathered spiritual energy into a swirl. This swirl would expand as one gathered spiritual power, and it would soon be able to absorb the spiritual energy of the heavens and earth to refine the body from the outside, achieving something similar to qi condensation. In simple terms, qi condensation was to slowly refine the body from the inside. The latter was a high-handed method. If one were lucky, the swirl would expand outside the body before the body collapsed and achieved qi condensation, and if not, then the body would be destroyed before the swirl expanded outside the body. Wang Hao said, with his teeth grinding, this fire furnace trial cultivation method, the archives in the sect held some copies of this. It is said to have been obtained from the extinct country of Lu. Only two out of ten cultivators would survive using this method. It's all based on luck. Wang Lin asked the important question, what benefit would Lu Yunji gain from all this? Wang Hao's eyes grew cold. He darkly said, he wants to use me as a pill furnace. When the disciple of the archives gave me the information, it was recorded that the moment someone dies from cultivating the fire furnace trial, if a certain method is used, a pill that extends one's life for three years can be created. Wang Lin took in a cold breath and thought that this third elder Lu Yunji was too cruel. Wang Hao's expression was bitter. He harshly said, I don't dare to talk about this with the other elders and the sect head, after all, I'm Lu Yunji's helper. Under the sect rules, my life is no longer mine but Lu Yunji's. If I knew this would happen, I wouldn't have agreed to be his helper. Ah, it is too late to regret it now. Lu Yunji found out that I knew the secret and threatened me with my parents. Now, I have no control over my life. Every day, I must take several chi gathering pills, and the swirl in my body grows larger by the day. Based on my calculations, I only have about a year left to live. Thank you for listening to the light novel of Shen Ni, Renegade Immortal. Please help share, like, and subscribe for future uploads. I greatly appreciate your support.